Hello everyone, this is JJ Billings and I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you a video about a meeting this week between the Eclipse Ice team and the Dawn Psy team, uh, the Eclipse Dawn Psy. We're both projects in the Eclipse Science Working Group and we had a really great meeting this week. I think everyone on the list will probably see the notes from that meeting soon. Um, but the video you see in front of you is pretty neat. So in um, Eclipse Ice we have a lot of different types of data and uh, one set of data that we have is actually in a file format that with only a little bit of effort uh, the uh, the Donsai guys were able to graph and this is what you see uh, in front of you here so it started off with some plots of uh, powers and stuff and then you could see the the powers mapped onto the to the um, assembly with the um, with the um, a t intensity map and now, actually, this video was made by Mark Basham, and he's editing the history grant, the histogram for that uh, color map that you just saw. And so here it is again, and now it's not as, as psychedelic as it was before. And basically what Matt is doing is slicing the data vertically. This is pretty neat because um, as you go from kind of the bottom of the assembly to the top, you can see the color change. We were, at the, at the time that we did this, we really weren't expecting that we were going to be able to get data from ICE into Dawn, and we were extremely excited about it. Mark and Matt Gehring, um, uh, Matt Gehring and Mark Basham were the two Dawn guys that visited us, and they were really um, helpful. They gave us some good suggestions about how we can reorganize our data to make this permanently possible in the future. And so what you can see here, is um, just some more messing around with the uh, color map. And um, now what we've done, instead of going through it vertically, Mark has switched it so you're slicing it in, um, in um, well, I guess the, in the X direction now. And that's pretty cool. That's a little different than the way we normally look at things. We normally only look at it as split along the, uh, sliced along the vertical axis. And so now he's back to that to, uh, slicing in Y. Uh, the, this color mapping thing is something, we have color maps in ICE, but we don't have them like this. So now he unlocked it. What he had before was a lock on the color map, and he unlocked it so you could change it again, and now we're back to the actual plot of the power. But what he's going to do here is something that's pretty neat, and this is just to show some of the power of Dawn. He's taking the data set of the of the pen powers and he is copying it and basically he's going to use one of them as a as a fake reference and he's going to use the other one as as simulated data. Of course they're equal to each other so the errors should just be in the noise. And what he just did here was use an expression uh, that can that Dawn can evaluate where you just do simple things between them. Uh, you can say you know ref minus sim like he did here a plus B, X times Y, that type of thing. And this is pretty neat. So he um, just did some awesome work. And, you know, we put a lot of time into doing this in ICE, and it works, but, you know, it's already done in, in Dawn. And so this is just amazing. We can get these plots, but it takes it takes a, a whole lot more work. And, and getting the difference, you know, it's in there. It's all point and click and everything. Um but it's not as generic as this, so it's not, you can just give it some kind of data and do it with that. It's very specific to our particular format. And so we're pretty excited about this. Mark is uh, now just kind of showing the, they're mostly random errors, uh, numerical errors, between these two data sets since they were copied from each other. Um, I don't know where the source of them comes in, but... Um, so it's, it's pretty neat. And um, so we're very hopeful. Uh, you can check the notes on the Science Working Group website. We're pretty hopeful that in the um, in the uh, next few weeks and months, we'll be able to start working together on this and actually pull parts of um, Dawn into Eclipse Ice and be able to contribute parts of Eclipse Ice to the Dawn side project. So that's all I got, and uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course, as usual, send your comments to Twitter, um, you know, or uh, hit us up on the Science Working Group. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one.